Ladies and gentlemen, all used RVs are not created equally. And behind me is an example of an RV that's been really well cared for. In today's video, I wanna show you this 2012 Itasca Ellipse. It is for sale and on the market. And then I wanna tell you what makes this coach different than other used coaches on the market. Today I'm hanging out in Santan Valley, Arizona. And I'm hanging out with my buddy, John. How you doing, sir? Hi, everybody. Doing good. <laughs> so I see this big RV garage back here. Yes, you do. It looks like that's home for this beautiful winter, uh, for this beautiful Itasca Ellipse. Yes, it is. So what's the story on this coach, and, and how are you involved with it? Um, this gentleman here, he didn't want me to put this out on my property because it's outdoors, but he asked me to help him with the sale. So it's kept in his garage here. I have access to the coach. That's where it's always lived. This coach has been in his family since it was new. So it's technically a two owner coach, but he bought it from his uncle who, you know, it's, so it's really a one family coach. You can see the care that's been put into this coach and you'll see that when we go through it, but very, very, very nice uh, ellipse. Yeah, sounds good. It's a little windy out here, so let's go inside. Now I wanna ask you a few more questions about this coach. It's got the 450 Cummins in it, Allison six-speed transmission. The date codes on the tires, I just looked at them, are 2019 date codes. They were just put on a few months ago. Refrigerator on a pull-out tray here. You've got your barbecue. This is a 42 QD, or which model is this? Yes, it's a QD. QD. So it's a bath and a half. It's, it is their number one floor plan. Yeah, and I like this bay, how it's got two doors that open outwards, giving you that really wide storage area here. Super large bay, almost like a double bay of other coaches. And then it's got the really wide pullout tray as well. Outdoor uh, entertainment area. Outside TV. Paint is in excellent condition. It really makes a big difference when they get stored inside of an indoor uh, facility here. Grand tour, or what's the story on this coach? This is a standard ellipse, all right, and it's their uh, top of the line Winnebago before they came out with the Grand Tour or the Ellipse Ultra. The only difference with the Grand Tour and the Ellipse Ultra was really their paint job and and some of their interior fabrics. They the mechanically exactly the same coach, equipment wise, the exact same coach. I want to sit down here, and I got to ask you a couple questions, John. I got to. I gotta feel out this coach for size here. So, John, you've you've consigned a lot of coaches for a lot of different people. What exactly do you help people consign coaches, or what exactly? How well, does that work? Well, I I do assist people in in selling the coach. All right, I'm very picky about what I'm gonna put my face in front of. All right, so we do hand select our coaches. We want good condition, good history on the coach, and so I mean I'm I'm not into quantity. I'm into quality, and, and uh, if you're that guy that's got that well-kept coach that you want you know, to get sold, give us a call. Um, maybe we can work for you too, so we'll do the best we can. I'll leave John's phone number in the description below. How many miles are, are on this coach? What year is it? What's the whole, what's what's the whole story? 2012, here? it has 32,000 miles on it. Um, we have impeccable service records on this coach. Just had oil changed, the aqua hot's just been serviced brand new tires and one year ago they did the um, batteries. So you got one year old batteries and brand new tires in the coach. Um, this guy, I have a detail crew that I have cleaned up coaches there and, and everything for presentation. This guy has his own detail crew. He wouldn't, I mean, he's very <laughs> picky about. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because nobody else has problems putting coaches on my property. He's just that guy that wants it in his garage until it's sold. So, yeah. he, you know, he's going to look out for it. Um, also has a brand new patio awning. So last time he took it out, he had a little damage on that. He didn't mess with it. He just put a brand new awning on it. So um, that's just the way he's been doing it. So coaches that are stored indoors, when you start to look inside the coaches at all the seams, uh, they just wear differently when they're stored out of the element versus being stored in direct sunlight, especially down here in Arizona. So when you get a coach that gets to be seven, eight years old, you can only see so much through these GoPro cameras, but when you really touch and feel everything, you can really tell the condition of this coach is really excellent, 
and I would say a lot of that's probably because it was stored indoors. And the owner, as you're saying, is very meticulous, yes. which makes sense. I'm going to point out some of the cool things I'm uh, noticing while I'm walking through this coach. It's This is the QD floor plan with the fireplace and the big TV up front here. Nice L-shaped couch here, and it's got that cool woodwork, and it's still light outside, but there's kind of LED mood lighting uh, below the accent pieces there. It's a brand new TV, and it's uh, he went bigger on the TV. Okay. So that's brand new. This has the full wall slide, so just really gives it an open feel here. Nice white tile floor here. It's got a cool design pattern there in between the tiles as well, the stone inlay. Large countertop space yeah. in the kitchen. And I like how the L-shaped couch kind of separates the living area from the kitchen here. Fisher Paykel dishwasher, Whirlpool, uh, microwave. I don't think he's ever cooked in it. You know, the top <laughs> looks um, pristine. Real nice hardware here. Uh, also, carpet line cabinetry and this is a high-end carpet here too on the inside of these cabinets adjustable shelving as well and that same carpet there even on the shelving of the cabinet as well and this is neat that you've got this extra ledge back here and a very cool backsplash with more storage here and still lined with carpet like the rest of the cabinets you also have a vent here with the fan here in the kitchen area so uh, this is a bath and a half floor plan. So your half bath, you can see it's actually a good size half bath. It, it really bath. is. Yeah, definitely very wide. As for perspective, I'm not small by any means. And you definitely have plenty of shoulder room. Like even if you needed to like change clothes or something in this half bathroom. And then I'll point out it's got a good size window there to bring light in. As well as another vent with the fan there. Let's go ahead on the back. Yeah. Uh, king size bed, or I can't king tell because it's it tilts yeah, it up retracts. there. It retracts. The Winnebago yeah. bed will retract, and that's why you, if you notice, you don't have to go around the bed to get into the bathroom. Yep. It's a nice big open uh, walkway through there. He's also replaced the bedroom TV that's brand new as well. Okay. And one thing I like that Winnebago does their pantries. They do a nice job. Of giving you pantry space. Oh yeah, look uh, at that. Look at this stuff. It's just all lined with carpet. Very, very well organized. All right, and they did maximize their space. You also have the three drawers down below. The drawers are all lined. Yeah, Maytag residential refrigerator. The top of the line coach at Winnebago builds, but in my opinion, it's probably the most underrated diesel pusher on the market. All right, because it's a good solid coach. It doesn't, it's not well known for being in the service bay. All right, and, and it's just a good solid build. And, and Winnebago builds a good coach. They extrude their own aluminum. They build their own windows. They build their own door. They're a builder, not an assembler. So when you buy a Winnebago, when you need parts, you get the right part right now. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Those guys up in Forest City know what they're doing. Yes. So... Yeah, well, let's go check out. I want to see this rear bathroom here. And I've got to point out the little bit darker here in the bedroom so you can see it's got that cool blue lighting in the ceiling accent piece here. And it's got that same blue lighting out in the living area as well. Oh, okay. Sleep number mattress in here. Really good size rear bathroom here with the washer and dryer, stackable washer and dryer. I'll point out how much countertop space there is here as well. Let's take a look at the size of the shower here. Totally molded shower with the bench seat there. Large skylight. Anything else in the head area you want to tell us about here? You know, it's just, you can see for yourself, it's a very, very nice coach. If you're that guy that wants to stay under 200,000, all right, you don't want to break the bank and still have a nice uh, luxury traveling uh, situation. This is a great coach for that, all right? I'd be happy to travel in this all over the country, and I wouldn't be afraid to because it's 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 yeah. together. It's very, 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 very well cared for. Um, there's uh, You got your central vac. You got drop latches on your doors. Oh, yeah, I like that door, door, too. Very well done on this. So the latching is always... The latch is from the top, not the bottom, so you don't have to get down there and latch the door like most coaches. Yeah. And you notice... It's hanging from the top, so you don't see the top flopping all around in these things. They don't rattle going down the road. It's nice and secure. You open it until you hear it latch, and it's latched. Yeah. 
So yeah, this is a nice coach. It's got solar panels on it. All of your aqua hot controls. Our gen start. Yep. Okay. Cummins huh? owning uh, 10K or do you know? It's a 10K in this. 10K. Yes. Yeah. Uh, three AC units. Yes. Three, three ACs. Three repairs. I mean, it's, it's all there. You'll be very comfortable in this coach. No, no question. We've got a 2012 Itasca Ellipse. It's got 40,000 miles on it. 32. 32,000 yeah, 32, miles 32, on 000. it. This is the uh, this is the 42 QD QD, which is a very desirable floor plan. How much money do you need for this coach? We're looking for 190 on a coach. All right, we're keeping okay. it under there. I've seen them out there. I've, I was just at a big RV show with a big dealer. They had a couple of them, but they're up around that 250 number, and uh, they were a year newer with more miles. So I just, you know, this is a good price at 190, and and we'd like to give this coach a, as good a home as it has now. It definitely says a lot that it was garage kept. Yeah. If you start looking at coaches that are eight years old that are garage kept versus not garage kept you'll be able to tell a big difference. So um, if someone's either a serious buyer for this coach or if they have another clean Class A Highline diesel pusher, you only deal with the Highline yes, stuff yes. that's super clean like this. You don't want any roach coaches. No. <laughs> uh, how, how should someone get a hold of you if they um, either want to buy this coach or consign something with you? You can call you? me. I'm John Drink. Um, number is 480-206-3211. And whether to be to inquire about this coach or to see if I can help you with the sale of your coach. I'd be happy to help. Um, I'm very easy to deal with. I'm not going to give you a, an experience like you're going to get at the dealers. I take a lot of pride in that. So it, it'll be all agreed upon and everything will be good. It's D-R-E-N-K 55 at AIM. And that's A-I-M dot com. All right. And you can email me. Um, get a hold of me and, and uh, let, let's figure something out and have a good, have a good time here. I, I love this business. I love what I do. And it shows in how things come through. So um, let's get together and do something. John, I can't thank you enough for showing me another beautiful coach. Appreciate all of you out there on YouTube liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, everybody out there. Appreciate it.